Begin by opening the Excel spreadsheet for this assignment. The Excel spreadsheet I am using for this instructional video is different than the Excel spreadsheet you will use for your assignment. Row 1 lists the names of each variable of the study. Below each name are the variable values. For my spreadsheet, there are a total of 40 participants and no missing data. Now, launch the SPSS software on your computer. I am using SPSS version 21. A different SPSS version may have a slightly different appearance. The functionality and steps will be similar. From the opening SPSS screen, select Type in Data and click OK. The SPSS software shows us the data view of the data set. Your data set should be blank and without data. Move your mouse to Variable View and click. The SPSS software shows us the variable view of the data set. Again, your data set should be blank and without data. Next, we will build the variables. Go back to the Excel spreadsheet and copy cell A1 ID. Return to the SPSS variable view and paste into cell name 1. Repeat these two steps for each of the remaining four variables. Now we will fill in the label column. Go back to the Excel spreadsheet and copy cell A1 ID. Return to the SPSS variable view and paste into cell label 1. Repeat these two steps for each of the remaining four variables. Now we will adjust the variables in variable view to match the data. Since all of the variables in the data set are whole numbers, we will change the decimal values to zero. Move your mouse to the right side of cell decimal 1 and click. Using the down arrow, change the value of the cell decimal 1 to 0. Repeat for the remaining four variables so all of the decimal values are 0. Next, we will adjust the value of the variables sex and exercise. Move your mouse to the right side of cell values 3 and click. The values label window should appear. In the value box, type 1. In the label box, type male. Move your mouse to add and click. The values for each variable are provided in the assignment instructions. In the value box, type 2. In the label box, type female. Move your mouse to add and click. Move your mouse to OK and click. Move your mouse to the right side of cell values 4 and click. The values label window should appear. In the value box, type 1. In the label box, type walking and strength training. Move your mouse to add and click. In the value box, type 2. In the label box, type walking. Move your mouse to add and click. Move your mouse to OK and click. Now we will adjust the variable measures in variable view to match the data. Move your mouse to cell measure 2 and click. Select from the drop down menu scale. Move your mouse to cell measure 3 and click. Select from the drop down menu nominal. Move your mouse to cell measure 4 and click. Select from the drop down menu nominal. Move your mouse to cell measure 5 and click. Select from the drop down menu scale. Next, we will give the data set a name and file location. Move your mouse to file and click. From the drop down menu, select Save As. I am going to save my file as PUBH underscore 6033 underscore WK2 underscore assign1 underscore example. Move your mouse to the Save box and click. The SPSS Output 1 Document 1 view will now appear in a new window. This output window confirms that you have saved your data. You can now minimize this window. Now move your mouse to the Data View tab and click. You will now see the SPSS data view. The variable names will be across the top row. We will now transfer the data from the Excel spreadsheet to the SPSS data set. Return to the Excel spreadsheet. We do not want to copy the variable names, only the variable data. I recommend copying only one column at a time. Even though the process is tedious, the data is less likely to be corrupted in the transfer process. Select cells A2 to A41 and copy. Return to the SPSS data view. Move your mouse to cell ID1.
paste the data to cell ID1. SPSS will paste all 40 values down the column. Repeat these data transfer steps until you have all of the Excel data into the SPSS dataset. I recommend you save the dataset file again at this time. You have now successfully.